Hi, and welcome to Two Tide Teachers. If you are new to RVing, you know there's a lot of expense. There's the RV, the hitch, and a vehicle to tow it with. So even if you buy used, you're out a lot. <laughs> and so there are some things that should come standard with the RV, such as a freshwater hose, an electric cable, and sewer, sewer hose. hose. Beyond that, you can't go out and buy, well, I guess some people can. We couldn't go out and buy everything else that we might want when we were first purchasing. So over the last five years, we've accumulated some things that are really handy to have. And so this is just to kind of give you an idea of some of the things you can get. Some are really cheap, some are not, but will make your life easier as you travel with an RV. One of those is a split for the water hose. I use one every time we connect to water because for one thing it helps you drain that fresh water hose whenever you're emptying it. Just turn them both, to, turn off the water, turn them both to on. Then as you roll up that water hose it automatically drains it all out. It's awesome. But they're really cheap, but I've left a number of them. Uh, and if they did not give you a pressure regulator whenever you uh, purchased your RV, that is something that's really yes. kind of a necessity uh, to, because the PEX lines, it's a different pressure. But that's important. So those are two. A second water hose is another inexpensive thing. And you really want to have that along with you because some places you go, uh, the site that we're in right now, our 25-foot hose, these are actually, we're in a small trailer, so now we can fit in these really short sites, but they're designed for tent camping, and that one 25-foot hose would not breach it. And so we've had to use that extra water hose several times. A more expensive thing is an extension for your electric. We've used that not often, but when we've needed it, it's been so nice to have yes. it along. Then some things that we would sort of purchase these after you get some of the less expensive things taken care of. One of the first, I think, Sharon, wouldn't it be the Chemco levelers we got? Uh, yes, we for four and a half years used wood, uh, and that works to well level. to level with. It, uh, another actually yes. another necessity is chalks of some yes. kind. You can use rocks. You can use but those yellow wood ones. Chunks, but the, Yellow ones are inexpensive. I we have tandem axles, so I just got a string, tied the two of them together so that they actually four, uh, two on each side, tied them together so that they stay together. And uh, yes, but you need that. But the Camco levelers, uh, we have we just got this season, and we love them. Uh, they it makes life easier. Oh, a whole lot easier <laughs> than carrying uh, six feet or eight feet long boards. Uh, if you're looking at something, I think that was around $35 yeah, I think for so. the two of them. So to us, that's a whole lot more expensive than the little faucet split. <laughs> One thing you'd really, not necessities, but things you'd like to have. Sharon's friend gave us two things we use on every trip. One is a little outside table, and the other is a mat so that you can step on it when you go into the RV. That keeps your RV so much cleaner by keeping the dust and dirt and stuff like that out. The other thing I'd highly recommend that's not a necessity, but uh, when you're older than 40-something, it's nice, is to have the reclining chairs. Uh, we use them almost every trip, unless we're just going to be somewhere overnight, and then we'll use bag chairs. But we really like being able to sit outside with our feet up. Um, and then for us, something that has really changed how we're able to camp. It's revolutionized it. Is a generator. And being able to dry camp. Now, preface that with the fact that we really weren't ready to dry camp. We were mm -hmm. getting used to the RV. And, um, but Sharon's smart and she knows me well, so she started talking about dry camping while I was still thinking, no, there's no way I'm going off grid. And so, B, that little generator, um, has more than paid for itself this one 
Yes. We've had it, I think, six months now. Yes. But we've been able to do so much free camping uh, that it has really, it's been awesome. And we have the generator and we have some solar and i am not an expert on either of those so if you'll check out our video on prepping to dry camp that will tell you a little bit more about those but um if you're looking at things to add on when you're ready to dry camp yes that is that's a game changer that and the solar the solar system was uh that's not cheap that not is a <laughs> real solar system like our solar system but solar setup <laughs> um but that's that has been and you have to look at those to see what's going to be the best choice or combination for you one of the things that's not as expensive but uh, this was something that we actually purchased essentially with the rv and that was an, ex an extra sewer hose uh, for one thing, we didn't want one going out on us. Yes. And the other was, uh, we were staying in full hookup sites, and you're not really sure where that uh, that that sewer connection is going to be. And so, we prefer now, we really prefer water and electric sites. One sewer hose gets us by just fine, because you can usually get, if it's a dump station, you can get close enough that one's going to do it. But it, you know, if you're staying at any full hookup sites, uh, you definitely may need that extension for the sewer hose. Um, those are the things that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, one thing that we may look at later on, and I, I, I need to watch some reviews and see what people say about these, but the right now we're still using wooden blocks uh, in front to to put the the jack on whenever we uh, unhitch and we still use wooden blocks under those stabilizing things there are other things you can get and uh, they just seem pricey to me <laughs> compared to carrying wooden blocks uh, but you know it may be something that it's something I need to do a little bit more research on uh, but those are the things that we have uh, a camp stove oh, let yes. me throw that out there um, they yeah. aren't that expensive. Uh, we almost have to have it because we had our stove taken <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, it is our stove now. But uh, we used it when we had the fifth wheel and we of still course. had the stove inside because, well, we've given you a lot of reasons why the camp stove is important, but it brings the heat outside, it brings the smells outside, and let's face it, it's just nice when you're camping out yes. to be able to cook some bacon and eggs or yes. something outside. and. It's that just, is camping for us. <laughs> that memories just flood us. But anyway, the camp stove is really a nice addition uh, to to have as your as your RVing, and it's we really have enjoyed ours. Yes. We've used ours a lot. Yes. Um, the little grill. Yeah, we that, love the little grill. The little grill is <laughs> an inexpensive. <laughs> Uh, is an inexpensive thing to carry. We just bought it at Walmart and it was less than 20 bucks. But we, if the most campsites have a, a grill, sometimes like this one, yes. it's actually over the fire pit. You reach, reach a certain age, that gets really hard. Yes. Let me get this dog. Uh, it gets really hard to, to um, bend over and do that. So nice aluminum picnic table I can just put our little portable charcoal grill up here and we know what food's been cooked on that yes. we know who's used it we know what's been done we know that it's been cleaned uh, so that little grill we love yes um, and I know some people carry around really expensive ones we carry around a little $20 charcoal grill but it does a great job and we're gonna be using it in just a little bit so um, can you think of anything else? Not really, but I'm glad you thought of the two you did. <laughs> so, um, those of you who have been RVing, if there's something you've found that has just really made your life better and you made your travels better, and we haven't mentioned it, please let us know so that we all can choose what's going to be the most important for us and the most important for you. Yes. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Two Tired Teachers. teachers.